Welcome to Madden 21. Today it's going to be my first video on this game and today it's just going to be me going over my franchise team and revealing which team I will be using as my franchise team in this game. So this is going to be much like my Bengals franchise. It's going to be somewhat realistic, probably not totally realistic because I do like having, you know, at least more than one first round draft pick. I think it makes franchise a little bit more fun. But anyway, let me reveal the team I'm going to be using, right? So first off, this is what the menu looks like if you guys have not played the game just yet. I literally just loaded this game up a couple seconds ago. <laughs> but if you guys are looking forward to some more Madden 21 content down the line, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button because I'm going to be uploading Madden 21 very frequently. And I'm really excited to get started with this year. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you can hit that like button down below. But without further ado, the team I'm going to be using are the Jacksonville Jaguars. So I posted a few pictures on Twitter and they were hints as to which team I was going to be using. The first picture was Josh Allen, the quarterback, with an X through him. And the idea for that one was not that Josh Allen. That was kind of the hint I wanted to get across because obviously the Jaguars have a Josh Allen who is not a quarterback and he's right there. He's a left end with superstar development. The second picture I posted was of four teams. It was four team logos. And those logos were the Bears, Rams, Broncos, and Ravens. And the reason that's there and how that relates to the Jaguars is because the Jaguars have recently traded with all of those teams. They sent Nick Foles to the Bears. They sent Jalen Ramsey to the Rams. They sent AJ Bouye to the Broncos and they sent Calais Campbell to the Ravens. And then the last picture was just an 87 overall symbol. And that's because the highest rated player on this team, at least according to Madden's website when I tweeted that, was an 87 overall. But let's go ahead and get started with this franchise. We're going to be using a custom coach. It's going to be Anthro Shrambush. He's a beast, right? He's been my coach for a little while. Actually, I don't remember if he was the name of my coach. Or if it was Antboy Shram guy, it doesn't matter. It's going to be Antho Shrambush, okay? He's the man. I'll get into all the settings at some point in the future. Let me just make sure. I'm probably going to turn off pre-existing injuries. But of course, injuries are going to be on. Salary cap is going to be on. Coach firing. Um, I'm just going to turn it off. I can keep it on, actually, make things interesting. I can always change that. I'll just turn it off for now. And then all the other settings that I changed, I just moved the quarter length up to 15, just for the time being. I might tweak that at some point. Maybe we'll rock with 15 with, like... 15 second minimum play clock time or something like that 13 i'll go 13 well maybe try this whenever i actually get into the games of this but yeah pre-existing injury was really the only thing I, I tampered with um that's gonna matter even a little bit really but anyway let's go ahead let's load up i don't know what the menu looks like on this game i have not yet seen it but we're gonna start up here preseason week one we can talk about player development that's the same as last year i'll get into that in a little while so the menu looks a little bit cleaner just straight off the board definitely looks a little bit cleaner but here we go we have a 78 overall team this overall might change as well it probably will because i'm sure yannick and gakwe will be traded at some point i don't know if i'll do the trading or if he'll be traded in real life so then it's kind of forced on me to do so i don't know exactly but let's start on the offense gardner Minshew is the starting quarterback 24 years of age one year of experience out of washington state Pretty nice looking face scan. Okay, I don't mind it. Looks like him. 85 throw power, 80 deep, 78 medium, 86 short can move a little bit as well. So as of right now, Gardner Minshew is going to be the quarterback for this team. I don't know how long I'm going to keep him for. It really does depend how well he plays for me. We're definitely going to have to gauge that throughout the course of the season. We don't have the best options as a backup. So Gardner Minshew will most likely at least be the quarterback for this next full season. Leonard Fournette is the running back. 83 overall superstar development. Got a really shiny head over there. I'm digging it. Three years of experience out of LSU, 25 years old. 92 speed, 90 trucking, 96 carrying. His stats are always busted. He's very fast. He runs very hard. Good acceleration. Good juke move as well. Not bad catching. He's going to be a great running back for us. I can't wait to use him on the ground and truck over everyone I can. DJ Chark is the number one receiver. Six foot four, but the best thing about him is his 94 speed. He had a great season a year ago. Hopefully he can build off of that with us here. 93 acceleration, 91 catching. Pretty good route running ability, but that can certainly be improved, but he's very good at catching. Spectacular catch, 88 for that. Not the best release, but once again, that can definitely be improved. His 94 speed is going to be lethal for us. And then we have Didi Rusbrook at the number two receiver position. 26 years old, a little bit older. 93 speed, 92 acceleration. So we have a lot of speed in this wide receiver core. And I'm actually very, very interested 
and LaVisca Chenault. I'm really excited to use him on this team. 72 overall hidden development trait. We're gonna have to see what that is throughout the course of the season. 88 speed, 89 acceleration, 83 catching. He is probably going to be our slot receiver and I'm really excited to use him because I think he's going to be a great asset to this offense. Chris Conley, Keelan Cole are the other receivers. The offensive line is not that strong on this team. But it's okay, we definitely have some pretty solid pieces. Andrew Norwell, Brandon Linder, both good at their respective positions. We have Jawan Taylor, who's still young, who was a rookie just a year ago. Tyler Eifert then, James O'Shaughnessy, and we have Josh Oliver as the tight ends. Josh Oliver has some pretty good stats for the most part. 85 speed, 80 catching, maybe we can get him a bit involved. We can try to rebirth Tyler Eifert, I guess. Of course, injuries have been a hindrance for him throughout the course of his career, but he's still a good tight end whenever he is on the field, of course. And then here we are on the defense. We have a lot of really interesting players players on this side of the ball. So Joe Schobert is the starting middle linebacker, just recently coming over to this team. 82 overall for him, 26 years old. He's a pretty athletic linebacker. He has great pursuit, acceleration, play rec, and awareness. Good speed and tackling as well. He should be a good player for us. They also have Shaquille Quarterman, who is currently a rookie. What kind of speed does he have? 81 speed, 80 tackling. Maybe he can play over Leon Jacobs, at outside linebacker, but Leon Jacobs is super fast. 88 speed, 88 acceleration. He's looking like a fun player to use her as well. At right outside linebacker, they have Miles Jack, another really fast athletic linebacker. 87 speed, 89 acceleration for him. At safety, we have Gerard Wilson, 26 years old. He is the starting free safety. And then the strong safety is Ronnie Harrison, six foot three, 23 years old star development. I'm really excited to use him. I think he's gonna be a fun user. He's gonna hit very hard, 89 hit power. I'm excited to force some fumbles with him. And then Gerard Wilson will probably have to replace at some point. I do think Ronnie Harrison can stay on the team for a long time. I definitely think he's going to develop here for us. And then DJ Hayden is the number one corner on this team. 30 years old though. So cornerback is certainly a position I'm looking to improve as quickly as possible. But to help with that, we have CJ Henderson. This team's first selection this past year. Hidden development trade for him. Incredibly fast, good acceleration, good agility. Good man coverage, pretty good zone, not too bad for a rookie, and pretty good press as well. I'm really excited to get CJ Henderson involved. They have Trey Herndon, who's still very young as well, 24 years old. I'll try to get him as involved as possible. They have Rashawn Melvin as well, another veteran here at cornerback. He's not too bad. He still has some value to this team for sure. They have Perry Nickerson, who's super fast. They have a lot of really fun young players on this defensive side. That's mainly why I wanted to use this team. Then on the defensive line, I mentioned him shortly before, we have Yannick Ngakwe. Now I heard that he might get traded, and I think the Jags said they were asking for like a second round draft pick. So maybe if he doesn't get traded in real life, we can still go ahead and trade him in this franchise. I'm gonna leave that up to the comments. Let me know what you guys think I should do. This is just if he does not get traded, if you think I should still trade him or not. I don't know what to do with him because we do have a replacement. Sadly, he only has normal development, but Caleb Von Chason, they also selected in the first round. I think I pronounced that right. Maybe. Um, he's very fast, has great acceleration, good enough block shed and finesse moves to at least get some pressure here as a rookie. Good strength, good agility. He's going to be a really fun player to develop. And then across from him, we have Josh Allen. He was a rookie this past season. Superstar development. He's face scanned into the game. 81 overall. Very fast. Good acceleration. Really good finesse moves. Block shed can, you know, be improved a little bit, but it's still not too bad at the moment. He's also still super young. So I really like this uh, defensive line right now. Then we have Al Woods, defensive tackle number one. He's old. He's a veteran, but he's still good. And it still has some value to this team for sure. Taven Bryan at the number two. He's very young, 24 years old out of Florida. 90 strength, 82 power moves. Hopefully he can develop here for us. But I am incredibly excited to get into this franchise. The first few months of each Madden is always so much fun. I really like, you know, starting franchises, starting rebuilds, all that good stuff. I guess we can go through the specialist. We'll go through the whole team. Josh Lambeau has superstar development, 85 overall, really good kicker. I'll take that. And then Logan Cook is the punter. Definitely not bad there as well. I'll go through the specialist as well, but I'm gonna do it through the depth chart here. So the slot corner on the team. I think it will be Trey Herndon. I kind of want CJ Henderson to be a boundary corner. I think Trey Herndon can be a good slot cornerback for us. Sub linebacker, I think I'm comfortable with these top guys. Maybe we can get Quarterman starting at some point, but he's a 61 overall in this department, so I don't exactly know. Rush defensive tackle, Taven Bryan, Al Woods, perfectly fine there. Rush right end is probably going to be, it's going to be Chase on for now, but Yannick Ngakwe, of course, is still here. So if you don't end up trading him, he'll probably start. I'm sure I'll rotate in Chase on every once in a while. And then the rush left end is definitely going to be Josh Allen. Slot wide receiver, I already mentioned this, it's going to be LaVisca Chenault. 
I'm really excited to have him in the slot. I throw to my slot receiver a lot, so hopefully he can go off for us. Leonard Fournette, the power back. Third down running back, Chris Thompson, I'm perfectly fine with. And that is going to be this team. Now, I'm not exactly sure how soon I'm going to get out gameplay. Because, honestly, I don't know if what you do in the trial translates over to the full game. It very well could. So maybe I'll play the preseason in a future video very shortly. Um, because if I do that and it doesn't end up translating over, that's not the end of the world. It's just the preseason. I can simulate it when the full game comes out. But then if it does translate over, that's fine. We can just start right when the game comes out at week one. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I really hope you guys are as excited as I am to start this Madden 21 franchise series. Thanks one more time for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.